Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is my Metal Gear Solid 5 S rank video walkthrough. We're on episode 10. This is Angel with broken wings. And right off the bat, I'm dropping into the hot zone, riding on good old D horse, and we're going to be rushing the destination of this convoy. We're not going to go to where it starts because we do not have the capacity just yet to do anything really interesting with it. So if you go around the right hand side of this rock you will notice there will be two wandering soldiers so you want to move around this area here to avoid the guys on the left and avoid the guys on the right. Of course depending on your conditions will depend on how you want to go about this. I think the path I just took works during daytime but there's a chance that people might become suspicious of you just because they're easier to spot because of all the abundance of sunlight but I'm going to jog all the way across here and there's two things that's going to happen. When I get off my horse to position it in the road to stop the convoy, if you run this way there should be two wandering soldiers, these guys here. Every so often when I've done this strategy, depending on the time of day, they're not here, they're in some other position, but in this particular instance, this is where they are, and the moment you take both of them out, it's going to trigger that convoy to start moving. Did you see how it said that the info team just spotted something, the intel team? So now the truck is literally hauling ass towards us and I need to get back to where the horse is. And unfortunately, I waste a little bit of time fultoning those guys, but it does work out and if you have the cargo fulton, you'll be laughing because it makes this mission so much easier. So I don't actually have time to put C4 down on the road. So I go into panic mode at this point, but it turns out to my advantage. So I trank the driver, but it misses. Trank his buddy, that one didn't. That one missed again somehow and then that one put him down. And if you notice, the tank doesn't wake them up. This is incredibly rare, and I think it only worked this way because it was night time. During the day, the tank will wake them up, and I'm going to try and sneak up on this tank, but you can't do it, guys, so don't try. Just throw smoke. Throw smoke and get the prisoner. That right there is a tank spotting me. This is me getting into the tank's blind spot, and then wondering what the hell am I going to do, because it, <laughs> it takes all of my C4s to get rid of this tank. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But get some distance, blow it up, and then we can grab the prisoner, pop him on the horse, and run to the X-Fall. Better way of doing this, of course, instead of what I just did then, instead of crawling towards the tank, I could I should have thrown a smoke at the truck and picked up the guy. That way the tank would have never seen me and we would have never had to engage it. An even better way of doing this would be to stop the horse in the middle of the road, sit behind where the, tr the tank would stop, then cargo Fulton the tank, and then cargo Fulton the people in the vehicle. And it would be so much easier, but at this moment in time my R&D is nowhere near high enough to have that particular upgrade, so this S rank is me literally doing whatever I can to get the job done. And the beauty of this game, and one of the things that I'm really really liking about it, is just how diverse you can be to get these ranks. I personally feel that it's a little bit lenient in a lot of areas, but for the most, you can do these in a whole bunch of different ways, which I think is just a testament to what they've achieved here with this game. So if you notice, I don't get the perfect stealth bonus because the tank saw me, and I don't get you know the, the no combat kills because I blew the tank up, but everything else was high enough to get the S rank, and uh, there's a chance I'll probably go back and do that again, maybe get the no trace bonus and have that as a separate series. But that is for people who just want to steamroll that mission and get that S rank. Pretty quick stuff. Thank you very much for watching and you take care now.